We are here tonight at the Sight and Sound Theater in Branson, Missouri for the world premiere of Moses. We're about to meet some of the cast members and some of the other folks who make it all happen. Hi, well, uh, nice to meet you. Nice um, to meet you. Challenges of playing Pharaoh. Mm. Challenges of playing Pharaoh, uh, the yelling. Moses was the original Big Mo, you might say. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the story, the character is epic. It was years in the making for Sight and Sound. And uh, yeah, we finally felt like we were at a place technically to be able to pull off the show at this level. This is a role that most people are going to be able to relate to. I really think it is, yes. He's not, he's, you know, Charlton Heston was, you know, in Ten Commandments. That was the story of a powerful man. Ours is a story of a very broken man and a very powerful God. Even though you may not have a red seat apart, we all have that version in our lives, you know, of something that's challenging us, that on our own strength, we have no ability to take on, but through God and his grace, we can. So for us, that's kind of the central message of this show. Three and a half year process to build these shows. When it finally gets on stage, it's a Herculean effort by all 600 of our employees. And so when it premiered in 2014, you know, it was just an overwhelming feeling of, uh, of joy, relief, excitement and all of those things and honor to be, do, be to be able to do this with everybody that, that we work with but then to bring in a thousand miles to Branson and 52 semi trucks later and uh, three months of rehearsals here we are and I had that same feeling and it's actually even more because I know what because I already know how this show has impacted people's lives so I look around and I see how they're going to be impacted by this we don't just bring the Bible to life on stage we bring the Bible to life off the stage we love the Lord and we're not perfect, we're, fl we're, we're all flawed individuals, but we serve a perfect God and we continue to just serve him with our gifts and talents and skills and bring honor to him.